Oh, yes, there we go. Okay, I'm going to make this short and sweet, people. Because it just came over my Twitterverse. And, of course, you know, uh, most of the things that I learn is through online. Once I research the deep of this trip. So, uh, Rudy Giuliani, real quick, came back from Ukraine and says that he has uh, information uh, that Biden really did break the law. That Biden made it so that his son could profit. Or Biden and his son uh, used tactics similar to Trump. To gain money, but they you he abuse of power making money. Giuliani said he found the proof. Okay, so should Biden go to jail if the if the if it was proven? Well, first off, I doubt the information Giuliani gets. Look, let's look who's saying the, the information. Two, 14 other. National Security Department in the United States already checked out the information and all 14 said that he did not break any law, that there was no no underhanded deals going on. Okay. So 14 to 1. I kind of tend to stay with our own CIA and our own FBI. Uh, and our own homeland security before I believe other people. But this one singular person, single-handedly, all by himself, found the magic bullet. Okay. First off, I don't want a book report. I don't want uh, to read Giuliani's report. I want to read the actual document. Because if Biden really did break the law, 100%, I agree, he should face a court, and he should go through the, uh, the system, absolutely, but not until we read the documents. Now, just be, now going on the assumption, we're going to go on, we're going to play devil's advocate here. Let's go ahead and say, Giuliani really did find something, that all 14 departments Miss completely, and Giuliani all by himself found this information. Okay, first we take care of Trump's impeachment because that's what's on the table now. It doesn't matter if Biden broke the law or not. It doesn't exonerate Trump. It doesn't excuse Trump. It does not expunge what Trump did if Biden really did break the law. You break the law, you face the consequence, period. I don't care if you're left, right, in the middle, upside down, sideways, whatever. You break the law, you face the consequences. That's what kept our country kind of intact for 250 years plus. We'd like to see 300 years, if possible. Anyway, uh... If it's true, which I seriously doubt, but if it's true, one, I need to read the documents. Two, if he did, he should face a trial. He should face uh, his peer. But it does not excuse the criminal acts that Trump did. So, first, we settle with the impeachment. If Trump is impeached and the uh, and the Senate as a whole, the Senate says, yes, these are impeachable offenses. And they are crimes, and they recognize these acts as crimes, and Trump should be removed. Great. Remove him. Then Biden comes in on his trial, and he faces the same fire. And he should go to... You know, if, if proven guilty, then this is still proven guilty, but if proven guilty, then yes, he should face his punishment. And thirdly, there is a third. 
You see, what Giuliani did was the essence of search and seizure without a warrant. And he didn't have a warrant to go there. He that is like the opinion, that's like, I suspect that person is doing something illegal. They're hiding it in their own apartment. Or their house. It's private, not public. Your name is nowhere in, you know, associated with that person's dwelling. Uh, but you gain entry. And even though the illegal act that you suspected is going on, you also get arrested because uh, you did kind of go in the dwelling without their permission. So what Giuliani did essentially was a search and seizure without a warrant, and that's illegal. Now, this is really a, a peculiar, this is what puts us in a peculiar spot. Because if the GOP stays with Trump and protects him from being impeached, that gives Joe Biden a free ride. Because if the president can get away with it, and they're not gonna they're not gonna prosecute the president, then they cannot prosecute Joe Biden. That would show that they that the Republicans just want to cut down all Democrats, no matter what, and hold Democrats to one standard, and the Republicans can basically do whatever they, they want as long as they're in power. Because when they were not in power, all of a sudden the deficit was something that they were so concerned about. Uh, overspending was something the Republicans were so concerned about. Now with Trump in the White House, the, the deficit it tripled and uh, not a word out of the Republican Party. Uh, they want, you know, the Republicans are like, well, when are you going to start uh, working on a bill to lower Medicaid cost or Medicare cost, medical cost? Um, the House passed that in, in May and the Senate is yet to pass it. But uh, lowering medical costs was done back in May. It would, it passed on um, five pardon, um, not but, uh, yes, five pardon should, bipartisan, yes, that's the word, bipartisan uh, vote. So both Democrat and Republicans voted for it. I'm sorry, my tongue's not working. <laughs> I can't talk. English, number one. <laughs> anyway, um, so, because that was brought up in an argument, why is Pelosi talking about impeachment when she could be talking about lowering medical costs? Well, that's because it was done months ago. Get Mitch McConnell to pass it. Uh, background check. That was passed back in uh, February. So, so firearms, new background checks, because times have changed. And the way you get uh, firearms have changed. So you got to have the rules reflect the new time. And so that was updated back in February. Uh, let's see, what else? What else? Um, uh, the agriculture, I think some H9 or something like that. That was passed, I think, back in March. Anyway, the whole point is that the 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 House of Representatives have, count, have come together. Democrats and Republicans are working together, which proves they, they can work together. And they passed over 200 bills. You know, oh, to restore the voting rights um, that, um, that was gutted like six years ago, seven years ago. Oh gosh, we need to get that back because this, uh, certain states will, which I'm not going to name, but you could just look and see, <laughs> but certain states don't like when uh, minority people vote and they're not too whoopy on women voting either. Um, and I can say this on my own experience. 
my own experience. Uh, I lived in Texas for three years. And, and they have a, I'm going to come back to the, to the impeachment thing in a minute. But I, I would love to tell this story. Well, I was living in Texas. And when, uh, when you vote, your voter ID card got to match your a state ID card. Uh, 100% letter for letter. One dot is missing. You don't get to vote. Okay. And you got to present both when you vote, which to me is overkill. Okay, because it's like you ha you got to show your, your ID card to get your voter registration card. What happened if you're in the same area, but you just moved houses? Well, now you got to pay for a new ID card to show what your voter registration card so you can vote, which is by proxy of tax, a poll tax, which is illegal. But anyway, I'm not here to discuss that. What I'm here to discuss is because of the new, the voter, uh, the voter rights act being eviscerated a few years ago um, in Texas in 1961 they put that when a woman gets married the state decides your new name okay so I'll tell you how this works when a woman is born or a female is born her parents Give her first name and the family name her last name. You could choose to have a middle name or you cannot. When that female grows up to adulthood and gets married, the state now chooses your name. I'll tell you how. Your lot, your family name, automatically becomes your middle name, and then your married name becomes your new last name. So for a state that loves to say. Uh, stay out of our business and small government and poo on the government, stay out of our business, you, you know, bad government, whatever. They sure do like to get into your business. <laughs> because, okay, so what does that have to do with voting? Because when, she, when the woman gets married, her ID doesn't match her birth certificate and it doesn't match her voter registration. So now she has to get all of that fit just so she can vote because it has to, you get your, your birth certificate is not going to match your vote, your, um, your state ID. That's going to be all wrong. And your, oh my God, it is such a mess. It is such a mess. And when you go to get your, your voter registration, they do expect your ID. So again, that's another $25 for your ID. You see where it's, and then if she moves from her house to a different house, then everyone has to get another ID. So you just, yeah, a woman gets to pay an extra voting tax uh, by proxy. Again, I just wanted to tell you that because this is what, doing but taking away the voting rights that's just one one uh situation that i witnessed i witnessed it i've seen it um the person i'm married to she had to go through that because her photo id didn't match her uh didn't match her registration and the, anyway, that's a long story years ago before I met her. But, yeah, that was like, that got me a little sideways. And if you're a little sideways, I understand. Don't take my word for it. Go look in the, go look in the laws. It's all public information. And they have not removed it. And it's a practice that goes on to, till today. So, anyway, I just wanted to tell you that backstory. Back forward. <laughs> Coming to here. So, if the GOP thinks that what uh, Biden did was wrong, they have to get.
get Trump out. If they do not get Trump out, then what Biden did was completely legal, which it is legal. Because uh, Hunter Biden did not join. He, first off, Hunter Biden was asked to join by another member of the board. Uh, Joe Biden had nothing to do with it. He had nothing to do with the hiring or the firing of that company. Hunter Biden was brought in by someone else who was already a member of the board. Two years prior to Hunter Biden joining that board, of that company. Uh, there was corruption in that company. And people did lose their job and people did go to jail. And there was still court cases going on. So they brought Joe Biden in. You know, the board of directors brought Joe Biden in, wanted, you know, him to be there. I don't know why. I wasn't there for the. <laughs> But the employment process, so he was there. Um, one of the attorneys that was supposed to be prosecuting the criminal was not prosecuting his friend. And Hunter Biden was like, I can't be a part of this. He's not prosecuting his friend. If he's going to be a prosecutor, he needs to prosecute everybody not just the ones he wants. He's got to follow the letter of the law. So Hunter was like, I've got to go. I, I can't be part of this. And when Hunter Biden came the, the federal aid because he was on the board, so he brought federal aid to Ukraine. I know they were getting, um, they were getting some money. But Hunter was like, I can't be a part of this. And actually, the, not, the World Bank was like, we can't be a part of it either. And I think the UK was like, we can't be a part of this either. So you, Ukraine had a choice. Either you lose the UK, lose America, lose the World Bank, or get rid of this one prosecutor who was not prosecuting his friends. They had a choice. So they decided to get rid of the person that wasn't doing their job. Um, the, uh, certain people, certain um, shady players went up to Joe and said, rain, rain your, your son in. Uh, make, make it stop. And Joe was like, I can't make my son do anything. That's not part of what I'm doing. I was like, well, either you do some or we'll go to the president. And Joe was like, okay, go ahead. Go to the president. See what he'll say. Because we weren't going to be a part of it. We didn't want to be a part of that. Now, that's the information I got. That is the story as I know it. And that's the information that I've read. I'm coming back, if Giuliani got something, anything different to contradict that, we need to see it. We absolutely have to see it. If Joe Biden did break the law, yes, he should go to jail. Just like if if Trump broke the law, he should also suffer the consequence. However, if the Republican Party says what Trump did is not illegal and he could keep being president, then what Joe did is also not illegal, which it was, mm -hmm. you know, I don't believe it. But, yeah, they don't have a shoot, they don't have a leg to stand on in this argument. Anyway, if you know anything more about this subject, I'd love to read about it, learn about it, drop an excerpt, let me know, clue in. Um, it's 20 minutes, I'm at 20 minute mark. I know I'm in my living room, but uh, I just seen this, and I hope I get this up before the night is over, or before the day is over. Anyway, as we say, as always, we're all going to hope for the best. We're not going to be stupid because we're going to prepare for the worst. And I guarantee you we're all going to land somewhere in the middle. Anyway, I'll see you in a few days. Bye.